It's liberal privilege, everybody. It is liberal privilege. That's what I'm telling you. And also wealth privilege a little bit too. But we're going to get all into all that. But first, guys, I'm Kev Ferris, and you're watching Speechless. So according to the Daily Wire and many other news sources, but I'm just using the Daily Wire because I trust them, charges dropped against Alec Baldwin in fatal rush shooting, report says. The criminal charges against Alec Baldwin on the fa- uh, in the fatal onset shooting of the movie Rust have reportedly been dropped. ABC News reported that both counts of involuntary manslaughter facing Baldwin for the death of cinematographer uh, Helena Helena. Lana Hutchinson are in the process of being dropped by recently appointed special prosecutors, Carrie Morrissey and Jason Lewis. Quote, we are pleased with the decision to dismiss the case against Alec Baldwin, and we encourage a proper investigation into the facts and circumstances of this tragic accident. Luke Nikas and Alex Spiro, the attorney attorneys for Alec Baldwin, said in a statement. Deadline reported that the investigation into Hutchins' death is still ongoing and that, quote, this case could be resurrected in the future. The Santa Fe County District Attorney's Office dropped the gun enhancement charge, uh, the, dropped the gun enhancement charge against Baldwin in February because prosecutors would not would have to prove that he uh, brandished the firearm with intent to harm or intimidate a person. I don't think that he intent that he intended to hurt anybody. At least I don't I don't think. Uh, in order to avoid further lit, further litigious distractions by Mr. Baldwin and his attorneys, the district attorney said. Um, uh, that ooh, the prosecution's priority is securing justice, not securing billable hours for big city attorneys. So review of the available law enforcement report showed no compelling demonstration. That the firearm was intentionally loaded with live ammunition on um, ammunition on set uh, based on all available information, including the absence of obvious intent to cause harm or death. The manner of death is best classified as an accident. Yes, it is best classified as an accident. Baldwin was rejected culpability in Hutchins' death in December 2021. Uh, Baldwin told George Stephanopoulos in an interview with on ABC that, quote, I did not or I didn't pull the trigger of the prop gun that fired and killed Hutchins. Baldwin further denied responsibility in Hutchins' death. I feel that someone is responsible for what happened and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me, Baldwin told the host. I might have killed myself if I thought I was responsible and I don't say that lightly. Okay, so Baldwin is in here saying that, well, I mean, we already knew a lot of this case. We knew that uh, he, he said he claimed he didn't pull the trigger. Well, then how did the gun go off? Guns don't just go off, Alec. Well, guns do not just fire on their own willy-nilly. So somebody pulled the trigger, and you were the one holding the gun. Probably was you. Probably, probably was you. Probably. And then he also, again, says, I feel that someone is responsible, but I uh, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. OK, Alec. Look, I'm not trying to come here and say that you're a murderer, that you intended to do this, Mr. Baldwin. But do you but, but do you really think that you have no part to play in this whatsoever? And again, this crime was classified as an accident. That's almost exactly the definition of what manslaughter is it's an accidental death and the fact that he's getting completely dropped of these charges is positively that in and of itself is criminal on his own movie on his movie that he was that he was so involved in he was i believe he was directing it he shot and killed somebody likely on accident seems like it's on accident but he doesn't even have to go to court and prove that he's not guilty of manslaughter? They just get dropped? This is liberal privilege. Liberal, wealthy, elite, well-connected privilege, everybody. It is absurd. It's, this is just like what I said What I said the other day about how Hunter Biden, we have his laptop, we have verifiable evidence that he committed criminal activity, and yet Trump is the one being indicted for something that has passed its statute of limitations. This is criminal. I Like I've said, I've said it in the past. I've said it about Trump. Everyone should have their day in court. Everyone should. And Baldwin was going to, but they get dropped and they claim it's because there needs to be a better investigation, all this crap. 
But then why was he ever indicted on manslaughter charges if the investigation wasn't good enough? Why did that ever happen? Why is it being dropped? I can't say for 100% certainty, but 100% of me believes that it's because he's a well-connected, liberal, wealthy elite. That's why. It's liberal privilege, everybody. Yeah, this is a short video because there's not much more else to say about it. There's not much more to the story. But we need to call these things out when we see it. The duality of the justice system. The breaking news that's not so breaking. That Alec Baldwin has liberal privilege. It's crazy. Everybody, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, everything. I'll talk to you guys later. Live on Sundays from 3 to 5. This is Speechless, and I'm your host, Kev. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.